week four, and I have a feeling that this one's going to be an interesting one. Okay, let's see. I'm just going to pull one out of here in the middle. <laughs> so the card for today says, what wouldn't you do? Oh, <laughs> what wouldn't you do? Oh, God. Oh, God. This what? Is really bad, <laughs> what wouldn't you do? Okay. Let's think about that. What wouldn't you do? What wouldn't you do? So just in case, just in case inspiration strikes. Okay, child's pose. Let's get into this. Let's get moving. Let's get flowing and breathing. What wouldn't you do? And so I was out of town for a few days. And the what wouldn't you do resonates with me because I had a couple of situations where I had to bite my tongue because I was in a group of people and the overall flow or vibe of the group was more important, I felt, than what I wanted to do. So what wouldn't you do? I had a situation or two of I wouldn't say what I really thought because I knew that it would not be well received. So maybe for you, what wouldn't you do is more of an expression of yourself or what wouldn't you do would maybe allow yourself to have fun, allow yourself to be silly, allow yourself to go deeper. What wouldn't you do shows up in a lot of different ways and could be a lot of different things. Thus the name Oblique Strategies. Begin your Ujjayi breath. Begin with the basics. Begin with your breathing. And then we can work into what wouldn't you do as we get flowing. Breathe in for a count of four. And breathe out for a count of four. Breathe in and empty out. Downward facing dog. Maybe today you're a Weimaraner or an Irish wolfhound. I met an Irish wolfhound. I swear the thing looked like a moose. So take a really, really big, long dog. Imagine you're an Irish wolfhound, this huge, furry, completely chill dog, giant paws, man, be big, embody the strength and presence of something bigger than you, breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Come on in. Yeah, just do it. Yeah, just do it. Just do it. Lift your right leg strong and straight. Grab one of the good ones. Lift from the inseam. Let's work on this, the three-legged dog. Flex your foot. Drop your right hip two inches. Yes. Now, bend your knee right here. Stack your hips and flip your dog. Flip your Irish Wolfhound up and over. Big, press down through heels. Press hips up towards the sky. Press, press, press. Downward facing dog. Breathe in. And breathe out. Lift your left leg. 
and pause here. Press out through your heel. Drop your left hip two inches. Now right here, bend your knee, stack your hips, and flip your dog. Press down through feet. Rise hips towards the sky. Breathe in. Peel open a little further. Downward facing dog. Breath in. Breath out. What wouldn't you do? Bend your knees. Bring your knees two inches up off the earth. Press your sits bones towards the sky like you're crouching, like a panther or puma. Breath in, breath out, downward facing dog. I'm so bad at this. <laughs> Presence yourself as things around you move and change and sounds happen and people come into the room. Bend your knees, look at your thumbs, top of your mat, step, hop, jump, ragdoll. Give your hips space. Bring your hands to the outside of your shins. Press your palms into the outside of your shins and press your legs back into your palms. Give yourself resistance. And as you do that, press your sits bones up towards the sky. Soften your knees. and breathe and come to stand hands at heart center in a soft gaze and the card we pulled for today was simply says what wouldn't you do begin with one ohm breath in oh mountain press down reach up look up see the ceiling between your hands pull your belly button in your bottom ribs in look up look back exhale hands through heart center forward fold halfway lift breathe in plant your hands on the mat high plank to low plank upward facing dog breathe in Downward facing dog, breathe out. Breath in and breath out. Bend your knees, look at your thumbs. Bring your knees two inches up off the earth. Crouching tigers, crouching pumas, fire up your thighs. Press the mat away from you with your hands. Now press your tailbone towards the sky, downward facing dog. And again, knees two inches off the earth, crouch, fierce, downward facing dog. Now bend your knees, jump top of your mat. Halfway lift, forward fold, let's flow. Extended mountain, press down, reach up, breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Hands to the mat, high plank. Pause. Belly button in, chin out of your chest. Pull your heart forward to the fireplace for low plank. Untuck your toes, upward facing dog. Breathe in. 
downward facing dog hips high three breaths What wouldn't you do? Bend your knees, jump. Halfway lift, forward fold, extended mountain, press down, reach up, breathe in, forward fold. Half lift, inhale, high plank, pause, low plank. Upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Breath in and empty. Bend your knees. Look at your thumbs. Jump. Halfway lift, fold. Extended mountain, press down, see something new, get bigger, get bolder, forward fold. Half lift, inhale. Plant your hands, high plank to low plank, shoulder blades pull together. Upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Right foot steps forward, warrior one. Relish this warrior one. So first warrior one of today, maybe this week, who knows? Go deep into your front thigh. Press your shin towards the front of the room. Give your hips some space and bring your left foot a little bit wider than you usually do. Yeah. Pull your right hip back, left hip forward. Soften your knee. Bright fingers. Open up to warrior two. Stay low. Stay low. Press your knee towards your pinky toe. Gaze out over your front palm. Belly button in. Bottom ribs in. Yes. Flip your palm. Watch your fingers trail across the sky as you open up your right side body. Breathe. Exhale, vinyasa flow, high plank to low plank. Upward facing dog, breathe it in. Downward facing dog, breathe it out. <sighs> Left foot forward, warrior one. And give your same space, same hip space. Bring your right foot a little wider. Bring it over here. Yeah, give your hips space. Left hip back, right hip forward. Front foot faces 12 o'clock. Bend deep into your front thigh. Breathe. Breathe. Open up to warrior two, stay low, stay low, stay low. Yes, bright fingers. Shoulders down away from your ears, belly button in, bottom ribs in. Yes, long side bodies. Flip your palm, reach up, breathe, breathe, breathe. Let your breath go. Take a big breath in, get bigger. Exhale, hands to the mat, high plank to low plank. Upward facing dog, lift your heart. Downward facing dog, lift your hips. Breath in, let it go. Bend your knees, look at your thumbs, jump. Halfway lift, forward fold, chair pose. Sit deep, squeeze in. Lift your toes up off the earth. Press your hip creases back towards the back of your mat. Sit deeper, lift your heart. Forward fold. Half lift, breathe in. High plank. 
to low plank. Upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Right foot forward, warrior one. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Open up to warrior two. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Flip your front palm, reach up, reverse, breathe in. Exhale, hands to the mat, high plank to low plank. Up dog, breathe in. Down dog, breathe out. Left foot, warrior one. Breath in, breath in, breath in. Open up to warrior two. Breathe out, breathe out, breathe out. Flip your palm, reach up, reverse, inhale. Exhale, vinyasa flow. Downward facing dog. Bend your knees, look at your thumbs. Top of your mat, chop. Halfway lift, forward fold, chair pose, sit deep, squeeze in, reach up, lift your heart. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Hands to the mat, high plank to low plank. Upward facing dog, press down, lift up, breathe in. Downward facing dog, let it go. Right foot forward, warrior one. Move with your breath, lift, reach, get big. Exhale, hands to the mat, high plank to low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, left foot forward, warrior one. Move, breathe, reach, hands to the mat, high plank to low plank. Big breath in, upward facing dog. Big breath out, downward facing dog. Whoo. Breathe in and breathe out. Bring your thumb tips to touch. Lift your right leg strong and straight. Step your right foot to the outside of your right hand for lizard. Keep your back knee lifted, chin out of your chest. Glue your knee to your shoulder. Lift your belly button up and in towards your spine. Maybe find some front to back movement in lizard rather than stay static. Embody the movements of the little lizards that we see out and around. They're hardly ever still for long. Send the weight back into your left toes. Three legged dog, kick your right leg back strong, 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 strong. Downward facing dog. Thumb tips touch, lift your left leg, kick it back, flex your foot. Step it to the outside of your left hand for lizard on the left side. Will feel completely different than the right side lizard. Chin out of your chest, find movement, pull your belly button in. Long torso, breathe. Fire up your right toes. Send your weight back into your right toes, three-legged dog, left foot high, downward facing dog. <sighs> Bend your knees, look at your thumbs. Jump top of your mat. Halfway lift, forward fold, chair pose, sit deep, one breath, go for it, get it right here in one breath, sit deep, reach up, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe all the way in. Plant your hands, high plank to low plank. Let that breath go. Upward facing dog, fill up, breathe in. Downward facing dog, empty out. <coughs> breathe. Move your energy, move your breath. What wouldn't you do? Bend your knees, look at your thumbs, jump. Halfway lift. 
forward fold. Come to stand. We all have straps. Come to stand. Let's see here. Yeah, we're gonna do things in different different order. We're gonna do single leg raise with your right foot in the strap. Don't need to buckle anything. Just set your gaze first of all. Set your gaze on something that's not moving. Find your drishti spot. Now before you do anything, pull your belly button in, your bottom ribs in, hug skin to muscle to bone. Here before you do anything, get fierce. Hug everything into center line. And with your strap, pull your right knee into your chest. Yeah, single leg raise, but with the strap. And now reset. Did your belly button go? Did your bottom ribs go? Get tall through your side body. Press down through your standing leg. Kick your foot into the strap towards the fireplace. Soft knees. Pull your right shoulder back into its socket. Open your right leg out towards the chakra wall. Keep pulling belly button in, bottom ribs in, skin to muscle to bone. Shoulder blades pull together. Extend your left arm. What wouldn't you do? Turn your head all the way towards Nebraska today. All the way. What wouldn't you do? Come back to center. Take the strap in your left hand. Extend your right arm. And send your gaze over your left shoulder. Come back to center. Fingers high, drop the strap, kick your foot. Kick, 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 kick. Keep pulling in, set up for airplane. Kick your right leg back, strong, kick it back. Arms back by your sides, palms down. Airplane wings, drop your right hip. Lift, yeah, from the inseam, drop your right hip. Shoulder blades pull together. Breathe. Pause, breathe. Keep working on lifting from your inseam. Hands to heart center. Check this out. Lift your back leg two inches higher. You are strong. Half moon. Hand down to the brick. Stomp down through your standing leg. Flex your back foot, active foot, active foot. Reach your fingers towards the sky. Look up, see your fingers. Peel open, feel your inner thighs going, whoa. Feel it, check it out. Be fully present. Lift your back leg two inches higher, breathe in. See, you've got it in you. Join both feet on the earth. And come to stand. Excellent work, yogis. All of that opposite side. It begins with your drishti. So take the strap, put it around your left foot. Set your drishti. And then mindfully, belly button in, bottom ribs in, press down through feet, foot. Hug into your core. Get tall. Pull your knee into your chest. Maybe you have to reset, maybe that action, something loosened up. Skin to muscle to bone. Kick your foot into the strap. Soft knee. Extend your leg out towards Nebraska. Extend your right arm towards the chakra wall. Keep pulling into center even as you expand out. Turn your entire head to face your right hand. Come back to center. Switch the strap into your right hand. Yeah, extend your left arm. Send your gaze over your right shoulder. Lots of point counterpoint. Everything's going every which way as you pull into center. 
come back to center, fingers high, drop the strap, foot high, kick your foot, reach your fingers, long side body, prepare, you know where you're going, fire yourself up, airplane, kick your left leg back, strong, toes point straight down. Drop your left hip, flex your back foot, bright fingers, shoulder blades together, breathe, hands to heart center, half moon. Breathe. Lift your back leg two inches higher. Press out through your heel. Can you feel yourself getting bigger as you press out? Breathe in and get bigger. Breathe in, get even bigger. Lift your back foot two inches. Yes, feel that. Slowly join both feet on the earth and come to stand. Take a breath in and let it go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Now, mm-hmm. <laughs> root your left foot into the earth. Same action, set your drishti, root your left foot down, pull skin to muscle to bone, lift your kneecaps, as they say, engage your thighs. Right leg up and over for eagle. Squeeze. Generous bend to your standing knee. Right arm up and under. Lift your elbows up in line with your shoulders. Now pull your shoulders towards the back of your mat. Bring your shoulder blades together. And as you do that, Pull your core into your spine. And with control, switch sides. Deliberate movement. Full muscle integrity, complete full body expression of eagle. As you pull in, bend your standing leg. You will find stability as you hug in and press your right foot into the earth. And switch sides. It begins with your drishti. What wouldn't you do? Fully presence yourself to being an eagle. Sometimes when we bind, we get lost in the binding. Focus on your shoulder blades pulling together, your belly button pulling in, everything pulling into center. And switch sides. In, pull it in. Muscles, pull your muscles onto your bones. You create a fire with that hugging in, with your ujjayi breath, with your fiery gaze. And there isn't anything you can't do. Come back to standing. Dancer with the strap. We all have a strap. You can, I don't know if you really need to loop it. I don't know. Straps are long enough. You can just bring the two ends together. 
yeah, we don't need to loop it around an ankle. There's more freedom, I find, in not having the noose around your ankle, because if you want to come out of it quickly, it's like, whoa, yeah. So set up the strap, just loose around your right ankle. Yeah, just like that. Begins with your drishti, so set your drishti. Belly button in, bottom ribs in. Yeah. Root down through your left foot, reach your left arm high. Here, send your weight into your left foot. Pull into center, set your gaze forward. Fierce. Now, bend your right knee. Bring the strap around back, yeah. Bring your elbow in towards your center. Send your fist towards the sky. Flex your back foot, activate your back foot. You can bring both hands to the strap if you'd like to try that. Press your fist up towards the ceiling. Bring your elbows in. They want to splay out. Hug them in. Press fist to the sky. Put your toes on the ceiling. <laughs> My hamstring objects very strenuously to that. <laughs> Give it another try. When we use the strap, our right hip stays more squared to our left hip. We're keeping everything close into our center line. Activate your back toes. And switch sides. Set up your foundation. Press your right foot into the earth. Begin to hug in. Create the solid core, the solid trunk of your soul, your body. Pull in. Bend your left knee. You can reach your right arm high. Or simply reach around and grab the strap. Pull into you as you kick out through your back foot and you press your fist towards the ceiling. Where can you take this? Find the wobble, find the falling over, find that, find that spot. And get back into it if you fall out of it, get back into it, explore active feet. And come back to standing. Ooh, and switch sides. And check it out. Second set, and I want you to notice. Notice what feels different on the second set. You've already found your drishti spot. Activate your back toes, active feet, active hands, and kick and pull. Maybe you walk your hands down the strap closer to your foot to accentuate the kick and the pull and the kick and the pull. Turning yourself into a bow and arrow right here, creating your own tension and energy. And switch sides. What wouldn't you do? When you come to your mat, you have opportunities to do all of the things, to do any of the things, or to do none of the things. Drop your left hip, press your toes towards the sky, walk your hands back on the strap. Centimeter by centimeter. And explore that spot where everything starts to unravel. Explore that. You are perfectly imperfect. Explore your wonder and your majesty. Even here in Dancer with a strap, something so simple. Come back to standing. Drop the strap. Make your way to the top of your mat. Tree pose. 
Right foot presses down. Left foot, ankle, calf, or inner thigh. And here, press your bent knee towards the pond. Set up your core, belly button in, bottom ribs in, shoulder blades pulled together. Long side body, stand tall. Spread your branches. Lift your gaze. Lift your heart. Turn this into a baby, tiny back bend. As you pull into your belly button and your ribs, lift your heart. Hands back to heart center. And switch sides. And it is through attention and intention that you discover the things that you would not do. That you become really clear on what you are a yes for and what you are a no for. Because to be a yes for something, you have to be a no for something else. So what wouldn't you do is that continuing struggling question between yes and no. Be up to something bigger than yourself. Be a bigger tree. Lift your heart higher. Shift your gaze to a different spot. And come back to standing. Take a breath in. Let it go. Extended mountain press down, reach up, breathe in, exhale forward, fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Plant your hands on the mat, and if you've never jumped back to a high plank, everybody come back to forward fold. Forward fold. Let's try that again. So you have to jump back to low. Yes. You can't really jump soft, back to high. Soft elbows, right, right, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Plant your hands on the mat, bend your knees generously. Like in down dog hands. Set yourself up. Fire up your legs. Know where you're going. You can't see it. It doesn't matter. You know where you're going. High plank or low plank. Sproing. Upward facing dog. Breathe in. Lift your heart. Downward facing dog. Hips high. Right foot forward warrior one. A quick step, a big breath in. Open up to warrior two. Flip your palm, reach up, reverse, breathe in. Extended side angle, right side. Stack your front knee over your front ankle. Bend deep into your front thigh. If your knee is past your ankle, take a longer stance. Right fingertips press down into the earth. If they're there, maybe a block. Reach your fingers towards the fireplace. Look up underneath your armpit. Breathe. Breathe. Come up to standing, pivot both toes towards Nebraska. Side facing wide angle, forward fold. Keep pulling belly button in, bottom ribs in, really long side body. Bring the top of your head down to the earth, to a brick, to your mat, to something. The wider the stance you take, the closer your head comes to the earth. Soften your knees. Walk your hands back in line with your toes. So if your fingers are facing Nebraska and your fingers are in line with your toes, you are setting yourself up for tripod headstand.
Maybe you bring one knee to the back of your arm like you would do in crow. Maybe you walk your, yeah, walk your toes in, yeah. Knees to the backs of your elbows or triceps. Squeeze feet in towards center line. Press down strong through your hands. Now press down stronger through your right hand and your right knee into your arm. Press your left foot towards the sky. Breathe. Squeeze. Breathe. Try it on the other side. The trying is the work, not necessarily the doing, the trying, the effort that you're putting forth and being here on your mat and sweating and breathing with intention, that is the work. Walk your hands out underneath your shoulders, take a big breath in, get long through your spine, exhale, come to stand. Pivot your right toes to the fireplace. Set up for pyramid, left foot, bring it about halfway around. Your bricks are handy. Frame your front foot with your bricks before you go anywhere. Press down through both heels. Soft knees. Belly button in, bottom ribs in. Shoulder blades together. Reach your fingers high towards the sky. That full center engagement bottom ribs and belly, long, hinge, reach. Your bricks are there for you. Put your fingers on your bricks and send your nose towards your right pinky toe. As you press down to your back heel, now often we forget about our back leg, our heel comes up off the earth, press it down with intention. Twisting triangle. Reach your right fingers towards the sky. Pull your hips to the back of your mat. Get long, spin your heart towards the chakra wall. Imagine there is a bowl of something lovely right there on your sacrum. Keep it even. See your top fingers. Breathe. Don't spill your bowl of goodness. Press down through your back heel. Breathe. Take another big breath in, exhale, hands to the mat, high plank to low plank, upward facing dog, breathe in, downward facing dog, breathe out, left foot forward, warrior one, reach up, breathe in, open up to warrior two. Stack front knee, press your knee towards your pinky toe. Flip your palm, reach up, reverse, breathe in. Extended side angle, left side. Now press knee towards pinky toe, take a longer stance. <laughs> Good, take the brick there. Press down, yeah. Activate, press knee into my hand, press. Yeah, send your gaze up towards your right fingers. Breathe, press out through your right pinky toes. Breath in, breath out. Breath in, keep pressing into my hand. Breath out. Stay low in your front thigh, warrior two, come to stand. You got this, stomp down through your front thigh, yes. Pivot both toes to face the chakra wall. <laughs> Side facing wide angle forward fold, second set. Bring your head down to something. Walk your fingers back in line with your toes. Find that spot where you're upside down and your brain says, uh oh. Find that spot. It usually happens once your fingers get back to where your toes are. 
at least for me. And breathe. Breathe. Soften your knees. Soften your knees. Maybe you'd like to try for tripod headstand again. Knees down the back of your elbows. Pull belly button in, bottom ribs in. And that is the work. You are doing the work. That's the work, and it's all good. There's nothing bad about anything. It is all good work. Walk your fingers out underneath you. Take a breath in. Exhale, come to stand. Left toes face the front. Set up for pyramid on the left side. Your bricks are already there from the last time. So set up your pyramid legs, short stance, but wide stance. Give your hips space. Set up your core, your foundation, soft knees. Belly button in, bottom ribs in, reach your fingers high towards the sky. Press down through your back heel, hinge, reach forward. Frame your front foot. Send your nose towards your pinky toe. Drop your right hip. Yeah, press down through, yeah, press down through your back heel. Breathe. Breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Twisting triangle. Pull your hips to the back. Press your head towards the fireplace. Breathe. Keep your sacrum just where it is. Send your gaze up towards your left fingers. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Get longer through your spine. Excellent. Exhale. Hands to the mat. High plank to low plank. Upward facing dog. Breathe it in. Downward facing dog. Breathe it out. Breath in, breath out. Come down to your knees. I want to workshop Chaturanga for just a hot second. Do this with the bricks. Let me see. Yeah, bring the brick to the skinny edge. Skinny edge so that it's right under your torso, like your center line, your belly button, and your bottom ribs. You'll have to play with where it gets located on your mat. So in high plank, shoulders are over wrists, fingers are spread wide, hips are in line with your shoulders. I'm pulling the top of my head forward as I'm pressing out through my heels. When you come down to low plank, you roll over your tippy toes. and your pelvis will be on the brick. Uh, yes, yes, yes. So the brick is here to keep you from having to do all the work of keeping your body up off the ground. So you'll find a good spot for it as you play with it. High plank, and as you go to low plank, roll over your toes, heart forward, elbows bend in, chin out of your chest. Now once you get that, press out through your heels, Press out through the top of your head. You can come back to high plank. Elbows in, shoulder blades together, chin out of your chest. Press out through the top of your head, press out through your heels. a lot of work. You get it by doing the work. 
it's a lot of work. Chaturanga is no joke. I think, yes. <laughs> yes, it takes a lot of core work to pull everything in to create that long, solid trunk of the center of your body as you press out through your heels and out through the top of your head, chin out of your chest. Shoulder blades pull together. Just explore the work of the, the, the solidness, the solidness of low plank, the solidness of chaturanga with the help of the brick. Slowing things down to focus, shoulder blades together, belly button up and in, create the solid trunk. <laughs> yeah, I know, that's the work. You feel it each time you try it. Okay, remove the brick, lie all the way down, place your favorite ear on the mat. <sighs> Let it all go. Squeeze the brick in between your calves. Squeeze the brick in between your calves. <laughs> Okay, palms back by your side. Yeah, palms face down. We're setting up for locust with the brick. Fire up your back body. Skin to muscle to bone. Lift, hands, heart, feet, fly. Squeeze that brick like everything counts on it. What wouldn't you squeeze out of the brick? Squeeze everything out of the brick. Squeeze goodness and honey and avocados and sunshine. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Now flex your feet. <laughs> Breathe in. Lower all the way down. <laughs> That's why there's a second time. Pull into center, strong back body. Press your pubic bone into the earth. Fly, hands, heart, feet, rise up. Soften your forehead, let your breath go. Keep squeezing that brick like you mean it. Breathe in, breathe out. Here it goes, here's the good stuff. Yes, flex your feet, pull your toes, squeeze. Lower all the way down. Take a breath in. Let it go. Floor bow. Bend your knees, grab your feet. Grab your ankles. Squeeze. Squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Press your feet towards the sky. Press your pubic bone into the earth. Lift your heart, kick your feet, flex your feet. Flex your feet. Take another big breath in, soften your forehead. Avocados and sunshine, lower all the way down. <laughs> Take a breath in, let it go. Floor bow, second set. No brick, same action. Same action. So much easier. Flex your feet, flex your feet. You're still squeezing in, you're still squeezing in. Yeah, maybe you wanna rock your floor bow over to the right. When you get there, keep kicking your feet into your hands. Feel the opening in your shoulder. Come back to center, maybe get the other side. If you've got your right, get your left. Keep squeezing into center. Come back to center. Release. Windshield wiper your legs. Release. Breathe in. And breathe out. Up 
backward facing dog. Explore your up dog. Thighs lift, knees lift, bring the tops of your feet to the earth. Yes, yes. Downward facing dog. And come down to your knees. It's camel time. It's camel time. You can take the brick, squeeze it between your thighs, or you can place it between your heels. Either one. You can place it between the heels so you have something to grab for. It's a little bit higher than your heels, even if your toes are tucked. It starts with your drishti. Set your gaze. Pull your belly button in, your bottom ribs in, long side body. Press hips forward, lift your heart. Send the back of your head towards your heels, lift from your breastbone towards the sky. And camel increases tension, so soften. Soften your throat. Soften your forehead. Keep pressing hips forward, heart lifts. And when you're ready, come out of camel slow, 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 slow. Take a breath in. Send that one away. In camel second set. The first one of anything is just the first one of anything. The second one is where the real juju comes in. Pull your belly button in, your bottom ribs in. Lift your heart towards the sky. Peel open. Lift. Soften. 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 Slowly come out of camel. Sit back on your heels. Breathe in. Breathe out. And come to lie on your back. And get right into it, bridge pose. You all know bridge. You don't need permission. You know where to go. Go there. Rise up, yogis. Hips towards the sky. Maybe you kick a foot towards the sky this morning. If you do, flex that foot strong. Kick your heel towards the sky. Lift your hips. And switch feet. Stomp down to your heel. Press the other heel towards the sky. Lift. Lift as you press down. Slowly come all the way down. Take a breath in. Let it go. And then set it up, bridge or wheel. You don't have to. Yes, I do. <laughs> you don't have to. You don't have to. Yes, I do. Okay, all right. Squeeze your elbows in towards the center. Just pile drive, pile drive. Give me all that fire that you've been building. Press, 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 press. That's all you, mama. Breathe. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down with control. Breathe. Breath in. That was all you. Breath out. And number three, bridge or wheel. Rise up, yogis. Your fire, your Saturday practice, what's it going to be? Get it right here, right now. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower down. Breathe it in. Breathe it out. And right back into it. Bridge or wheel. Rise up. Fire up. Press. Four, three. Keep breathing. Two, one. Lower down with control. Take a breath in. Let it go. And again, rise up, bridge, wheel, get it. This is the pinnacle, the peak of your practice is this heart opener. 
rise up. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower down with control. Take a breath in. Let it go. Last one right here. Bridge, wheel. Bring your fire, bring your fury. Fire up, open up. Five, keep breathing. Three, two, one. Lower down. Yes, yes, that's a wheel right there. You just described it. Supta Baddha Konasana. One hand to your heart, one hand to your belly, and feel all your goodness. Feel your avocado and sunshine. It's right here. Feel it. Your breath, your heartbeat, your stray hairs that are everywhere. That's yoga. They're everywhere. Yes, yes, yes. Breathe. Take in a full body stretch. Kick something over if you have to. Reach your fingers, reach your toes. And bring both legs up towards the sky. Squeeze the brick in between your ankles. It's there somewhere. Squeeze some avocado and sunshine out of your brick. Maybe it's some orange juice, maybe it's some ice cream, whatever you want to squeeze out of your brick, squeeze it. Press your heels up towards the sky. Lower your legs to two inches up off the earth. Reach your fingers towards the pond. Belly button in, legs back up. Grab the brick and pass the brick. Lower your feet, active feet. Legs back up, put the brick in between your ankles. Active feet. Reach your fingers, active fingers, legs back up, grab the brick, lower your feet, lower your fingers, active feet, yes, and switch, keep going. You've got this, it's the story that you make up that says that you don't. You've got this, you are strong and capable, you are. This is a room full of magic and wonder. It is. Pass the brick. Last one. Make it count. Make it count. Pull your knees into your chest. Give them a big squeeze. And breathe. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is good for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is good for you. Hey, I need somebody to tell me to get my shit in gear. <laughs> Extend both legs towards the sky. Flex your feet. The more uh, you bring into it, the harder it is. I'm serious. Clasp your hands to the nape of your neck. Just do the thing. Lower your right leg down halfway. Pulse towards your left pinky toe. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring your knees into your chest. Extend both legs high towards the sky. Lower your other leg down halfway. Flex your feet. Pulse up towards your right toes. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pull your knees into your chest. Breathe in and breathe out. The hard thing about core is, is you're not doing anything until it starts burning. That's the hard thing about core. You have to get to the point where you're like, because otherwise you're just like, I don't know, might as well be crocheting or something on your mat. I thought I had uh, covered my hip bones the other day, like that my 
my that my belly had gotten flat, and they were obese. Yeah. Oh, goddamn obese! We are so proud. We feel so sorry. <laughs> underneath your tailbone. Oh goodness. Send your legs up towards the sky. Scissor legs. Lower your right leg down two inches up off the earth. One, two, switch legs. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pull your knees into your chest. Take in a full body stretch. Peel open, get big. Bend your knees, place your feet firmly on the floor. Pretend we're going to do bridge, but we're not. <laughs> Pretend. Bring your right shin up and over your left thigh for figure four. We're going to do reclined half pigeon today. First thing you can do is you can give yourself a self-assist by placing your right hand on your right thigh and kind of glide it up towards your right knee. That's one. You can reach around the back side of your left thigh with both hands. Clasp your hands behind your left thigh and give yourself a self-assist with your elbow towards your right thigh. Yeah, flex your feet, active feet, active feet. Yeah, see what happens, active feet, active feet. You don't want to see it here in crochet. You want active feet. Active feet. And then if you'd like to try the next step, you can hook your left arm around your right ankle. We all have straps nearby. You can place the strap around your right ankle to take your reclined half pigeon a little further if you'd like. You can rock the baby, grab your shin with your arms, active feet, active feet, wherever you're going, active feet. And slowly release and switch sides. Right foot press it into the earth with intention. Left shin up and over, flex your feet. Grab the back side of your right, right thigh. Yes. Press your elbow into your thigh, active feet. Yeah, you feel the resistance with your elbow into your thigh. Release your reclined pigeon. Take a happy baby. Whatever movements you want to take before your happy baby. Press your tailbone into the earth. Press the back of your head down into the earth. Activate your feet. Flex your feet. Activate your feet. If your feet are asleep, everything's asleep. If your fingers are asleep, everything's asleep. Hands and feet, energy. Release your happy baby. Bring your arms down by your sides, palms up. Shimmy your shoulder blades underneath you. Create that natural curve in your spine. Yeah, create the natural curve in your spine. Maybe you grab the sides of your mat and give yourself a little tail tuck so that you can feel that curve. Bring your feet wide. Let your forehead soften. Let everything soften and unwind. You have reached the final and most important pose 
the pose that does you. You do not do it. You let it do you by doing nothing, by doing no thing. No thing. fingers and toes. Come back into your body, come back into the space. Take a big deep breath in. Lion's breath out. Again, breathe in. Stick out your tongue, make a face, make some noise. Again, breathe in, get big, get loud. Let go of something, yes. Bend your knees and gently roll to your favorite side. And cradle your head and enjoy this in-between space. Relish in it. 
a sweet in-between space. But know that the work that you do on your mat carries into your life off your mat. Whether you're aware of it or whether you are not are aware of it, the work that you do here shows up everywhere else in your life. Slowly press yourself up to seated, the top of your mat with hands at heart center, sit tall, root your sits bones into the earth. And say something kind to yourself. You did the work. You came to your mat. You did the thing. We'll close with one ohm. Take a big breath in. Oh. forehead center. Namaste. Namaste.